Welcome to QLM Business News. Here are today's news stories. UK minimum wage to increase to £12.21 per hour from April. The Chancellor has announced that the minimum wage in the UK will rise to £12.21 per hour for workers over 21 starting in April, providing a financial lift to over 3 million workers nationwide. Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves described the increase as a significant step toward establishing a genuine living wage. Workers aged 18 to 20 and apprentices will also see notable increases in their pay. Younger workers will experience a 16% wage rise from £8.60 to £10, while apprentices will see a more substantial hike from £6.40 to £7.55 an hour. The Treasury views these increases as a pivotal step towards creating a unified pay rate for all adults. The rise follows the government's directive for the Low Pay Commission to account for the cost of living when setting the rates, ensuring wages align more closely with living expenses. This year's boost, while welcomed by worker advocacy groups, is smaller than recent years, reflecting economic pressures from employer national insurance rate increases expected in the upcoming budget. While many workers have welcomed the news, smaller business owners have expressed concerns over the added costs. Christine Dobson Moore, owner of the Sandwiches Cafe in Sabden, voiced her struggle to keep up with payroll in an already challenging business climate, remarking that the government lacks an understanding of the day to day realities faced by small enterprises. Kate Nichols, CEO of UK Hospitality, added that the rise places additional strain on high street businesses, impacting job stability, investment, and consumer pricing. Some in the business community, like Green King's Nick McKenzie, fear that cumulative cost pressures could lead to job cuts and reduced investment. However, union leaders, including Paul Novak from the TUC, argue that minimum wage increases do not result in job losses, challenging concerns raised by some business groups. Advocates like Claire Raindorp, CEO of Young Women's Trust, also welcomed the news, highlighting its potential to benefit women, who are statistically more likely to be employed in low-wage roles. The wage increase comes amid speculation around tax changes, with Reeves expected to propose tax adjustments to bridge a £22 billion funding gap. National insurance is anticipated to rise, along with a likely lowering of the earnings threshold at which employers begin to contribute, with combined measures forecast to raise £20 billion. Business leaders caution that increased costs could lead to reduced investment, potentially dampening growth in an economy already facing challenges. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories. Also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.